Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me at Ryan Dome. In this episode, we're going to be creating a little bit more of an advanced character controller. So that's going to include uh, sprinting and crouching. So let's begin. We're going to go to our, uh, our scripts folder and we're going to go create new JavaScript. And we're going to name this um, player movement. Player movement. Go ahead and open that up. And uh, let's begin typing. All right, so now that we have this all done, basically what it is is when we press C, our player will crouch, it will reduce the size of our character, and it will change our speed to what we have set it up here. So let's go ahead and save this. And I'm going to now select our first person controller, and I'm going to drag, and we can remove this script. Uh, I'm going to drag, what do we need to call it, player movement onto our character. I'm gonna change the walking speed to five, and the run speed to 15. All right, and let's hit play. So when we walk around, this is our normal speed. When I hit left control, I will. Oh, geez, that scared me. I forgot that was there. Oh, whew. All right. Well, you walk fast. You can set this to whatever you want. As you can see, this is really fast for my game. Um, and when I press C, I crouch down, so I'm, I get lower. And I, I don't walk as fast. And that is pretty much it. That is the uh, a little bit of smart movements there. So we have walking, sprinting, and crouching. All right. Jeez, that actually really scared me. I forgot I had that there. Dang. Woof. I got your blood rushing. All right. Well, that's all the time I have for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. And until next time, bye-bye.